I'm currently in the Volvo V40 and now this is Volvo's five door premium hatchback. It's in the C segment so it's competing alongside the Volkswagen Golf, the Audi A3, the BMW 1 Series and of course the Mercedes A-Class. This first went into production in 2012 and since then has become a very important car for the brand. This is because this Volvo is Volvo's best selling model ever especially in the all-important European market. And now for 2017, this car has received a major revamp according to Volvo. Up front, it receives an XC90 treatment with stunning looking headlamps, now incorporating Volvo's Thor Hammer signature style daytime running lights. And of course, in true facelift style, they've added a new posher, more fancier grille. And at the rear, well, I think the story remains exactly the same as it was before, so no special endings there. In addition to that, Volvo have added some new colors, some new trim options, and there are also some new alloy wheel finishes available too. This car we're in now is a T3R design pro model, and it's equipped with Volvo's Drive E engine and powertrain technologies, but we'll talk a little bit more about that later on. On the inside, this V40 feels as premium as a BMW or an Audi. And trust me, it really does. Everything in here oozes quality and style. From the floating center console, the aluminum pedals, to the frameless rear view mirror. The center console designer has been around for a while and some seem to think it looks a little bit long in the tooth, but I quite like it. I think it looks fun, it looks quirky, and it really complements the high quality silver trimming which is dotted all around the cabin. When it comes to seating and comfort, I really think the Volvo takes the crown. The leather seats are standard on this R-Design Pro model. They offer good support. They have the perfect balance between firm and soft, which is also good for long distance driving. However, what I don't like about the Volvo is that the interior trim on the R-Design models only come in one color and that's black. I also don't like the fact that it's got a handbrake which looks like it's from the 90s era and also I think the rear view mirror could incorporate an automatic dimming function. There is plenty of storage spaces around the cabin including large cup holders, a very usable sized glove box, door pockets although they are quite small. When the sun goes down you can create your perfect ambiance with Volvo's mood lighting which is standard on this R-Design Pro Trim model. And of course, just like the Mercedes C-Class, you can change colors of the mood lighting. Up front, we have Volvo's signature Thor hammer style headlights. And now these headlights are not only standard on this R-Design model, but they're standard across the entire V40 range. How about that? They not only look great from the outside, but they function amazingly. The beam is very white, it's crisp and it's clear. It's very bright in low beam and it's phenomenal in high beam. It looks like daylight in front of the car. This Volvo is one of the safest cars on the planet and with these lights it just makes it even more safer and of course more enjoyable to drive at night time. When it comes to space and versatility, this uh, Volvo is quite good. There is plenty of legroom in the back with the driver's seat adjusted to me and I'm 5'10". And I also like the fact that there is a general feeling of airiness and spaciousness throughout this bright cabin. Despite not having a sunroof, the cabin still feels light. But buyer beware, 
it will cost you a hefty £1,000 to add the option. Boot space is generally good. There is enough space for two luggages and the seats do fold flat in traditional Volvo style to create a flat loading area. Albeit a spacious and very plush environment, there is however only room for four adults despite having five seat belts. Although Volvo claim that you can fit an adult in the middle, it is however gonna be quite difficult. I think it's more safe to say that it's more suitable for a child. However, you have to forgive Volvo on this occasion because they have positioned the outer seats more closer together, higher up, and you're not looking directly into the back of the front seats, you're kind of angled towards the center of the car, which for me makes back hair feel rather pleasant. And not to mention, you also get more shoulder room. Excuse me while I try to get comfortable. I like this little neat cup holder there, it's quite cute and it looks very neat and it tucks away and incorporates itself into the seat which is quite clever. There is storage bins in the side doors, small again like the front ones but at least they're there. And you also get these nice little uh, compartments on the side of the seats which is very nice and very handy. This V40 is equipped with Volvo's Drive E technology and this is a combination of a super efficient 4 cylinder 1.5 litre turbocharged engine and Volvo's Gearatronic fuel saving 6 speed automatic transmission and together these churn out 152 brake horsepower and 250 newton metres of torque. And now Volvo's Drive E technology is available on most cars throughout the Volvo range. And this technology consists of energy rejuvenating braking system, an efficient turbo, engine start stop, and Volvo's low friction engine and drivetrain technology. But with this technology on board this petrol T3 engine, it really makes this worth considering because fuel consumption is a healthy 51.4 miles per gallon and CO2 emissions are just 129 grams. So that would cost you 110 pounds a year in road tax. In reality, it's not far behind the D3. Both get from zero to 60 in around seven and a half seconds and both will top out at 130 miles an hour. For me personally, I prefer the drive and the characteristics of the T3 petrol engine. I just think it's smoother, it's more responsive and the performance is better for me. This is the R-Design Pro model and it will cost you £27,000 and for that you get full R-Design treatment on the interior and the exterior. You get dynamic sashi, full LED headlamps up front with rain and light sensor, Volvo City Safe with cruise control, satellite navigation system with DVD and an amazing 8 speaker surround sound high performance system. Believe you me, the list goes on and on. So you get a lot of kit for your money. I've had this car now for a week and I'm gonna be truly sad to give it back because it's a fantastic little car. It looks great, it handles well, and I do believe that this car will be great to buy and to own. Although its rivals do better in key areas, I still like the Volvo. So for those of you who are in the market for a premium hatch and don't quite like the BMW or the Mercedes, because they're just too popular, why not go for the Volvo? This is a fun and sensible alternative to its German rivals. Please remember to like and subscribe to keep more videos coming your way.